Hi everyone, Vince with Barco here. Today we're going to talk about the new features of EventMaster 5.0. As always, you can find a complete list of these features in the What's New file that comes with your download package that can be found here. We're going to get started today by introducing the new Tricombo input card. The Tricombo input card will support HDMI 2.0, DisplayPort 1.2, 12G HDSDI, as well as legacy standards. This will allow you to send 4K 60p over a single cable. This new card will be available in October 2017. By popular demand, output rotation will now be available on our Gen 2 output cards. Currently, this only applies to our DisplayPort 1.2 card. So let's take a look at the GUI. To get to the rotation controls, click the destination and go to the Assign tab. So here's an example of what it looks like live. Remember, this is for screen destinations only and is not applicable to auxes. On the DisplayPort 1.2 output card, we have enabled HDCP 1.3 on the top two connectors. The locations of HDCP have also been updated. Here are those new locations. Many of you have asked for a way to deselect all destinations with a single command. This is possible if we use empty destination groups. Simply save a destination group with no destinations selected. When recalled, this will clear any selected destinations. When adding PNGs, you no longer have to add them one by one. Using shift-click, you can now select multiple PNG files and add them at the same time. Select the files you want, click open, and then go get coffee, or in my case, a nice herbal tea. We have added a cool new effect with pip layers. When your layer is a pip, you can now control the layer opacity. This control can be found in the layer effects tab above the strobe controls. You can now copy multi-viewer layouts from the multi-viewer page. Here's an example. Let's copy layout one to layout four. There's a new dropdown at the bottom of the screen called copy two. I'll simply select the layout I want to copy to and click apply. Keep in mind, this copies both multi-viewer one and two to the new layout. My personal favorite new feature is the AOI markers that are visible in the configuration page. You no longer need to look at your multi-viewer, you can now easily view your adjustments by going to the wide button. On the E2S3 front panel menu, we have added a new function to update firmware to not only the master unit, but to all connected slave units. This works by putting the USB into the master of a linked system. From the front panel, select Software Upgrade, USB, Master and Slaves. The master will download the upgrade package from the USB drive and send it to the slaves. This is the fastest way to upgrade your linked system. So we've added three new test patterns. We've actually added a red, a green and a blue. When using the auto add all inputs and the auto add live inputs, the system will now allocate input connector capacity based on the input format detected. So if you have a dual link source coming in correctly, the connectors will now automatically remove capacity from an empty connector and assign it to your dual link input. We now allow batch mapping on our controllers. You start by specifying a starting source number 
and an ending source number. Click Assign Sources and as you can see, our assigned bus is now populated. This feature is available for sources, background sources, user keys, and presets. And finally, for our EC200 users out there, the DVI-1 port will display the left touch screen, while the DVI-2 port will display the right. So that about wraps it up for version 5.0. Remember, if you have any questions or comments, you can always reach us on our Facebook or at e2 at barco.com. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in software version 5.1.